Hello YouTube, it is your driver and I'm back with another product review for you. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Smock X-Force. Smock X-Force, which is actually kind of a clone of the Penguin mod. If you're familiar with the Penguin, it's basically the same sort of thing. I went to a local vape shop last night. I went to uh, Big John's Vapes in uh, Brandon, Florida, and um, they're the ones that... Uh, talked me into getting this thing. I did buy it with my own money. Um, and so I figured I'd try something new. Um, and let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what we think. Uh, also, while I'm here, I want to point out something. I did pick up some new uh, juice flavors last night. Um, and I picked up this flavor, Ice Monster uh, Mandarine Guava. And it's got a hint of menthol. This stuff is amazing. So anyway, let's go ahead and open up the box. All right, inside the box, this is what you're gonna get. Aha, and this is what we have inside. We'll take this thing out and throw it away. Here is the Smock X-Force. And also in the box we have, it looks like an instruction manual, a charging cable, and you get two different kind of coils. So I'm not really familiar. I haven't read about it yet, but I understand there's two different kinds of coils that come with it for two different kinds of vaping. Um, so I want to make sure I pick the right kind because we're going to put in, be putting Saltnik in mine. All right, so with the device, we'll take a quick look at it all around. This is a pod mod. You can see. You take the pod out the top. Well, there, there you go. Or maybe you don't. How, how the heck do you get that thing out? There we go. Holy crap. All right. That thing was, that was really hard to get out. That was a really hard thing to get out. Moments later. All right. So I'm going to be using the 0.6 coil in this device. I hope I picked the right one because I didn't read the instructions. So uh, I do know that there is a fill hole here on the side right here to fill in the pod. Like so. You see the hole there? You just fill in the juice right there. Okay, so I got the coil. I'm just going to push it straight down into the device. Make sure it's nice and snug so there's no leaking. Pushed it in there real nice and tight. All right, and so now I can go ahead and fill up the, the pod full of juice. You know what? I'm going to use a brand new flavor. I am going to... I picked up a... I picked up a bunch of new flavors last night, so I'm going to try a brand new flavor today. We're going to go with the PB and Jam Monster, so it's peanut butter and jelly monster juice. All right, so we got the fill hole right there. We're going to go ahead and pop this in there and start filling her up. Okay, I'm just going to stop there. Plug it up. I guess that's how you do it. And then you take the pot and just stick it right in there like so. Push it straight down. And that's your device. It's ready to go. Now just to go over some of the, the mod details, I want to tell you that this does have a 2000 ma rechargeable battery built into it. Uh, it does have a voltage range of 3.4 to 4.2 volts. The pod itself will hold 7 milliliters of juice. To turn it on, you click the button five times. I think I did that. Did, it, did you see any lights? Oh, I see some lights. All right, let's go in for our very first puff on the new Smock X-Force. It's pretty, pretty nice. I like the way that thing hits. And that juice tastes just like peanut butter and jelly. That is so crazy. That's some good, that's good juice. I really like this thing. It's well made. It's well constructed. It's solid. 
Um, it has a really large battery compared to a lot of the other pod devices on the market. It holds 0.7 milliliters of, I'm sorry, it holds 7 milliliters of juice, which is a ton of juice for a, uh, a pod. Um, so that means I'm not going to have to worry about refilling this thing anytime soon. Um, I really like it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this thing over the next 24 hours just to make sure I can't find anything wrong with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and post up the final review um, after I get my thoughts on it. And if I find anything wrong, I'm going to let you know. But as of right now, my first impressions are this thing is solid. I really, really do like this Smock X-Force. Um, as a pod user, I love having a larger pod with more juice. I love having a larger battery. Uh, and I love how it's just so compact. It fits in my hands. It is a lot bigger than most of your other mods. I mean, to compare it to the Smock Nord, which is the bigger version of the Smock Novo, it's about the same height, just a little bit shorter, but you can see how much wider the X-Force is than the Nord. Um, so, also, here's another one I'm going to be reviewing here in the next few days. So, this one here is the Inakin uh, DV. So, in comparison, it's the DV is a lot smaller, but still, to have that much juice and that much battery, it really does make a huge difference when you're out on the road, uh, you're traveling or whatever. You don't want to stop and have to recharge or refill your pod. This does take care of that problem, and it comes with multiple coil options. So if you're looking to use more of a free base nicotine, uh, you can do that. If you're looking for a salt nicotine, you can do that. If you're looking for a mouth to lung, you can do that. It gives you all different options of how you use this vape based on the coil that you buy, because they, it, which is another thing that's great. They make it, and they make different coils for each kind of person. So depending on your style of vape, you'll find a coil that works best for you with the same device. So that's it for now. I'll be back with an update. Uh, and then I'll post this review and tell you guys all what I think about it. One week later. Okay, I am back. It's been a week uh, that I've been vaping on the Smock X Force, uh, and I am ready to give you my official thoughts. First thing I want to say is that this device is definitely one of my top two favorite uh, e cigs I've ever vaped when it comes to being a refillable pod system. Um, so I do have my favorites when it comes to the pre-filled pods uh, and those devices. This is a different category, so I wanna make sure to separate that. As far as the type of pods that give you the ability to refill, uh, the Smock X-Force is definitely an amazing device. So this is what the pod looks like. Uh, you can see on the bottom here, and also, well, I don't know if you can really see that, but it's been over a week that I've been vaping on this thing. I've probably refilled it at least five or six times. Uh, and not once have I gotten any sort of leak around the bottom. No leaks at all. Um, and also what I really like about this device is that it's super easy to refill because this is such a big pot. I mean, compared to my hand, you can see how big the pot is. Um, when you go to refill it, there's just an easy little fill hole right here. You just pop that thing open and fill it up. And this holds a ton of juice, a ton of juice. I know I already said that in the unboxing, but I just want to recap and say that that's one of the things I absolutely love about this. Um, another thing I love about this device is the battery itself. It lasts forever. I mean, literally, it is a tank of a device. Um, and so what I, what I like about it the most is it takes all the awesome things about pod devices but it also it's kind of like a middle middle of the road it's it's half pod device and it's half like super tank device you know um because when you vape on this thing it puts out some massive clouds and it lasts forever as far as the battery goes and it lasts forever as far as the juice goes because it holds so much juice so you put all that together you get the benefits of having a pod device but it also has the battery and the, the juice storage of all these you know big tanks type devices um, and the clouds let me just show you i i love this thing and it tastes so good and i am using nixalt the same type of uh juice that i put in all my other pods let me take a quick puff for you I mean, this thing puts out some serious clouds. And another thing is I didn't get a single burnt hit on this. Um, it, it's it's phenomenal. I, I literally love this device. I only have one complaint about this device. Uh, it, but other than that, the thing is amazing. And I would definitely say this is um, my favorite. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say it's my number one favorite uh, refillable device because I'm also reviewing another one right now 
the Anakin DV, which is just as good. Um, so they're both my favorites right now. But uh, if you're thinking about picking this one up, it's, it is amazing. I mean, it has the best battery life, the best ju juice uh, capacity. Um, it puts out some major clouds. Uh, the flavor is decent. Um, so that is one thing I want to point out. I did notice that the flavor is a little bit muffled in this one. Um, so like when I, when I vape on some of like, let's use some examples. When I vape on the Smock Novo or the Smock Nord, the flavor is much better. It's richer. You can taste the flavors better. Um, this one, it's kind of more of a muffled flavor. You don't get the full flavor potential. But at the same time, it puts out these huge clouds and it's a I mean, it's amazing to vape on. Uh, I just love it. The airflow, it's great. Um, so I would say overall, perfect device. The only downsides are one, the flavor's not as good as it is in some of the other devices. Uh, and two, this pod top right here. This pod top is almost impossible to get out of the device. And the thing is, I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong, um, but I literally cannot pull it out. The, the way that I've had to pull this thing out to refill it is I literally have to bite down on the top piece like this and then pull it out with my teeth. And so because of that, I'm starting to get teeth marks all around the top. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. There's got to be an easier way, and maybe I just haven't figured it out yet, but that would definitely be my, my main thing I don't like about this device. Other than that, I love everything else about it. Um, so I would recommend picking one of these things up. It's perfect for people that are going uh, going to be on the road for a long time, or they're going to a place where they don't want to have to charge their device, they don't want to have to refill their device. This thing can easily last you a long time with battery and juice in it. You don't have to refill it, you don't have to charge it, it's ready to go and it's gonna last you a long time. Highly recommend this, the Smock X-Force. So that's it on the Smock X-Force. I hope you liked my review. Um, if you have one of these, comment below. Let other people know what you think about it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll try to answer all your questions uh, based on my experience with it. Um, and. <laughs> Most importantly, if you know how to get the top off a little easier than breaking it out with your teeth, let me know because clearly I haven't figured it out myself and I would love your, uh, your advice on that. So anyway, it's your driver. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Attention all viewers. Your driver is in great danger. He needs your help to convince more companies to give him free stuff so he can review it for you. So to help him, well, all he needs for you to do is subscribe to his channel and like his video. But you've got to be quick, so be sure to hit that bell icon and turn on notifications. And don't forget to add him on Snapchat, Instagram, at It's Your Driver. Oh, and while you're here, feel free to check out some of the other videos right over there. Let's go. Boom. Oh, and one more thing. Do it. Do it now.